sport is a way of life and just like life sports also tests us from time to time and make sure that we come back stronger and get through the phase in the special edition of beyond the boundary from samprasiddhi sports studio bangalore we have with us a special cricketer uh, vanita we are joining us for the show vanita thank you for joining us thank you so your last match was in january it was the final of the t20 challenger trophy uh, it's been a long break how how good does it feel to get back to cricket um no after that actually we played the domestic uh, 50 overs format uh, which we had to come midway because of the pandemic situation and uh, you know uh, personally for me coming out from an injury and coming out from surgery it felt really good i mean though i'm still rusty i feel that so probably another game or two should get in, get back in you know in the groove but but uh, but if you look at it overall i think it's you know we feel it's a blessing for us to actually come back and do what we love the most and and having given this platform for us you know thanks to the organizers you know falcons cricket club for actually organizing such a spectacular tournament i think it's actually good competitive cricket that we are getting to play now you talked about being rusty was it true that you felt that way in the first match uh, you were trying to go after niranjana nagaraj in the first over and got out yeah definitely because uh, everything is a habit again like you know you you're out of practice also i mean no matter how much over you practice you know it's a different feeling to come and actually bat in the middle and that's what happened with me the first game you know um you know gradually like i said uh, i think game by game i'll slowly get better and i think these games uh, you know will add up a lot of value in terms of how i'm going to come out from from injury point of view and as well as how I'm going to prepare for the forthcoming season because we'll not get to play much uh, matches like how we usually do before uh, pre- you know prepping for the main matches. I think I'll take this as a preparation for the main matches. Tell us about your power hitting that you have developed in the recent years. Uh power hitting is something which uh, I would you know off late I worked quite a lot because uh, earlier it I know I used to hit big hits it's not like I wasn't hitting big hits but this is something which I actually uh, exclusively worked with my uh, SNC Varun and uh, my coach Murli sir this is something which we keep uh, talking about you know because he knows that my coach feels that you know the, the next few years down the line this is how the game is going to be T20 is the thing you know forum is what uh, women cricketers as women cricketers we need to you know develop and indulge in so that is something which I exclusively really train uh, on power rating and power rating mechanics and a lot of biomechanics goes in in terms of power rating so that is one of the reasons why i think i'm able to hit them ease now see it's very simple actually the game is evolving and such and the intensity of the game is such the demand of the sport is such that you know you have to uh, you know you have to get into it otherwise you you know you're staying back and that's not what you are looking at you know when you want to play the competitive uh, cricket you when you want to play the top level you always have to be on top and that's the whole idea behind it and if there is something which i want to actually fill up the gap it's i feel the difference between us and the other other teams uh, when you know when you compare it to australians or the england i think it's a fitness is a huge uh, margin there i feel so i think if we can actually work as a team fair and in india is also doing ex- excellently you know i think it's it's the onus is on us to actually how we need we need to take it forward and how we from year on how we take forward is how you know we are building a culture here so for us to build the culture i think we need to set the mark and that's what i am trying to do was there a particular moment when you decided this is it i'm going to turn it around because uh, there is a stark difference in your numbers in the last 3 4 years Uh, definitely i mean um see when you're dropped for certain reasons like okay these are the reasons you know actually it hits you hard in your mind and especially when you really have that hunger to go out there and wear those india colors again you really have that hunger and that actually drives you crazy that actually drives you to you know tries you to do well that okay this is what it requires us to be you know to compete at the top level so you grab every opportunity that comes your way and that's what i've been doing the last 3 4 years and i'm confident that it's, it's just a, it's just around the corner and and another two three good knocks you know i know i'm back in the reckoning again in the indian team so you know i'm con- i'm i'm confident i'm positive and that's what is keeping me going it's not letting me down for sure the numbers do reflect that and in 2018 19 you scored 400 runs and in the previous last season that was interrupted with the pandemic you scored close to 300 runs in domestic t20s at a strike rate close to 120 uh, you talked about uh, you are back in the reckoning you are back in the game the, the last t20 that you played was almost 4 years ago what keeps you going what is the motivation because it's you've been in the sidelines for quite a few long uh, what drives you to take it forward honestly speaking i know i know that I, you know i i'm doing well it's not like i'm not doing well so that that is what is driving me actually crazy and driving me to work harder because i know like uh, back of my mind down the line if you ask me actually with this numbers i definitely deserve to be in the indian team but 
you know the combination is such that sometimes you miss out and that's okay i mean um, every time i actually miss out i do get disappointed it's not like i don't get disappointed if i say that i don't get disappointed it's actually i'm lying but i do get disappointed but my disappointment i turn it into such a manner that you know i keep that thing going you know i'm like i just let go and i say okay fine maybe the next door maybe the next door and and that's how i'm actually setting myself up you know it's like every time i you know i i i get into a tournament or i prepare for i prepare for a tournament i prepare as if i'm preparing for an international tour and the mistake what i did 4 5 years back is something which i really definitely don't want to repeat and and as a, as a, as a human being as a person that that is what we are looking at you know every day is a learning for us you know you look to evolve over the years and that's what i'm personally doing was there any particular mistakes that you wanted to get over with <laughs> not really i think i think i would just blame my destiny for having not given much chances like how others have got but that's okay i mean it's part of part of the game part of your uh, you know you, you need to learn to take it in your stride and that's what i have done maybe i'm maybe in the coming days i would definitely pray to god and pray you know pray to my stars saying that okay i i get some more chances and probably not just one chances and just asking myself to prove that it's it's, it's something which is you know very hard on you but like i said you know i've learned how to let go things and i'm looking forward and and i know for the fact that you know um now i'll even if i get ahead also it's going to be limited opportunity and when i get that all i have to do is just grab those opportunities and that's what i'm looking at and and i keep training myself like that uh, you you've also recovered from a injury uh, you had a surgery in the knee uh, talk us through that uh, process and the rehabilitation uh it was actually a good uh, one year of struggle honestly speaking but but you know uh, honestly speaking uh, injury is something which teaches you a lot of things you know it it, it it just teaches you the value of time it just teaches you like you know how to be at the moment and that's what that's what probably i don't know if that is also part of it like you know having said that you know the consistency in t20s i don't know if that is also part of it that you know it teaches you to be disciplined or lot disciplined and over the years you know i've not i don't i don't think so i've taken more than a week's time of uh, break from training because it, it because so much time has gone into rehab that you know i think i i think people call me off physio also because so much learning is also gone alongside um it's not easy to come out from an injury and you know injury always holds you back it doesn't allow you to go and express there fully and you know you always have this thing like okay what if what what is going to happen you all you're always in that doubtful you know mode you're like you have the two thoughts about it you're like you're not sure whether you would want to go for it or not and that holds you back a lot and to break that you know barrier in, in your in your mind itself is actually a big battle and if if someone can overcome that i think i think it's a big battle one to be honest if you ask me personally it's a big big battle one well they say an athlete's peak age is 28 and for the last two years you have been uh doing really well uh, will you say that this is the best you are playing at the highest level yes this is the best uh, state of mind i've been and uh, physically mentally both i would rate this is the best and uh, and whatever people say you know the peak at the right age i think i definitely agree with that because because i myself are seeing you know seeing the difference in in how i actually approach the game and how i approach with the mindset and how i go to games and and probably if you had asked me 4 5 years back what is letting go i wouldn't have said what letting go is i <laughs> honestly speaking because you know because we are as athletes you know we're competing so much you, you know a competition level gets to such a point such a state that you really don't know how to let go you just you know you're so stubborn in what you want to really achieve in life and and this is something which i've actually worked on honestly speaking the spiritual side in me you know i i've i've put in a lot of time in terms of actually nurturing all these thoughts well in the next 2 3 years there are almost 3 4 global tournaments coming up uh, any goals any plans or dreams that you have in mind this is a motivation actually this is what drives me out of the bed actually if i ha- if i wake up early in the morning I-, i think these are the things you know the dream of wearing india clothing is what drives me out of the bed to be honest you know a lot of people keep asking what keeps you going despite despite being snubbing out of the team for law you know these many years but this is what i keep telling you know to wear that india colors back on uh, you know with with a lot of pride is what actually keeps me driving crazy to actually go out there well we do wish you best of luck for the near future and hope to see you back in team blue team india again thank you thank you so much thank you well that's vanita joining us for the special edition of beyond the boundary from bangalore thank you for watching us